I told you guys that I'm going to do an update video of what's up, <laughs> on what's going on with my life and why am I lacking videos this month. Um, basically, I'm going to explain everything in this video, but first, let me take a selfie. No, I'm just kidding. I want to thank every single one of you who commented on my previous video. I've definitely learned a lot. Thank you for informing me about Hannah and also for sharing your experience. That is very valuable. So thank you very much. And the second one is I have been scouting for um, salons that can do my hair and everything, but none of them for some reason don't want to deal with my hair because they said it's like, you know, it's too long. And if we're ever going to do anything with your hair, especially with the coloring, we will have to cut it because they don't want to deal with my hair unless I actually get a haircut and that is not so nice. So that is uh, a little bit of a dilemma. Looking for a salon who would actually like to deal with this length. So that's a little bit of update on my hunt for hairdressers and salon. It's, it's this. So now on to the main point of this video. Now the very purpose and reason why I wasn't making a lot of videos on the beginning of the year is because I was this close, <laughs> this close to burnout because um, I'm just, uh, I just needed to relax, I just needed to recharge. Um, if we flash back way in 2013, I, 2013 was the most stressful year ever of my life, like just emotionally. I think, you know, if you are physically stressed, you can rest it out, you can go on vacation, you can rest it out, you can sleep, that should fix it. But when you are emotionally stressed or mentally stressed, you know, you can go on vacation, but those things, mm -mm, you still carry them with you unless you deal with them. And I could not emphasize more on the importance of mental health, especially if you're going or if you're dealing with depression or anxiety, because it's something that you deal with your mind and it's something that you carry with you everywhere, because you just can't yank out your brain and be like, I'm not going to be thinking about anything at the present moment. That cannot be happening. And um, came 2014 and I, I felt like I, you know, the things that I was dealing with 2013, I didn't deal with them properly and I just went by with 2014 because 2014 actually was a great and it was a wonderful year. It was a blessed, amazing, wonderful year last year. It has its ups and downs because um, in the beginning-ish of the year I lost my grandma and on the end-ish of the year I lost my uncle. All I can say is God is still good and he's awesome at working things together for my good and all those things has happened. Um, you know, I was able to keep myself together and um, not really fall apart. And also, I have been dealing with people as well, you know. There's a lot of people who are just really mean, backstabbing people. People are just gonna lie to you and stuff. And I just finally came to a point where I was like, you know what? I am basically going to just really forgive these people and constantly forgive people. That's a thing because, you know, you can't really control people, you know, you can't really control their reactions to you, you can't control situations, but however, I have a personal choice, you know, to still do the right thing, to still react um, in the right way, and I can control my reactions, and that's the only thing. <laughs> Basically, 2014 went really fast that I didn't just have any time to deal with the things that I'm dealing with. I didn't have the time to rest. You know, it was just me working, working, working. And um, as a workaholic, that kind of just the whole working, it kind of made me grew a bit weary. And I was tired. For the first time, I felt so tired, so worn out and burned out just on the inside. And I just felt depression and anxiety was just creeping in. And I was just like, uh-uh, this is not dog please i'm filming i was like nope this is not gonna happen again to me i am gonna get a solution to this but i was like you know what i have to stop recharge spiritually and like heal emotionally and just you know just calm down to slow down and to take care of myself and having that alone moment times and also spending more time with the lord 
has really helped me a lot and I just don't want to make videos for you guys just for the sake of me making videos I really want that if I make videos I genuinely like them I'm just here to update you all and right now I feel so much better and I feel so recharged also for the exciting news I keep an eye on my videos on February because I was actually planning to post a lot of video in February though I'm not gonna make promises um, just due to you know sometimes we have storms here and there's brownouts and stuff which, which is making editing very hard because of you know the unstable electricity so on February I'm just looking at my notes here um, I'm going to do DIYs reviews challenge videos Sunday munchies are going to be back and you know hard to hard talk videos there's also vlogs I'm planning to vlog as well Anyway, for any updates, you know, just in case if I can't post every single day, I'm going to be, just check out the comment box because I will update you guys if I'm going to upload the video the next day or I'm going to upload it the next, next day. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I will update you guys there as well, you know, if I'm going to post a video. I hope you guys are excited about that. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next week, which is next month, which is on February 1 and I will see you guys then. Bye!